In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can start adding custom CSS in Brizzy Cloud. Now, there are various different ways you can approach this. First of all, let's take a look at how we can affect a specific element on a page. Let's take this button as an example. Let's select it, open up the options, and then from the right hand side, if we take a look, we can insert our custom CSS ID, custom CSS classes, and we can also add custom CSS directly to this particular element. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select it. And we're going to go ahead and target this element. Because we've got it selected, we just need to do a really simple thing. We're going to type in the word element, then open up our brackets, and we're going to go ahead and put our CSS definition in. So let's do something really simple, like change the background color. I'll just go ahead and drop in the little piece of code that I've got. And you can see we've now set the background color to be red. Simple as that. That's how easy it is to do it on an element level. But what if we wanted to affect all of our buttons with a particular class? Well, we can use the global CSS styles for that. All you need to do is make sure that you insert an ID or a class for the button that you want to target. For this example, we'll just do the CSS class. We'll set this to be my button. So now we've given that class a name, making sure you don't put the period or full stop at the beginning of this. We can go ahead, remove our custom CSS. Our button goes back to the way it was originally, and now we click update. So now we've just given this a class, a unique identifier for this button or any other buttons we might want to attach that class to. So now what we need to do is set up our global CSS definition. To do that, we come to the CMS menu in the top left hand corner. Inside there, we come to the project settings. Now we'll open the custom CSS panel and we can insert our custom CSS directly inside here, targeting any of the elements we want throughout our entire site. There's the custom CSS for our button. All we need to do now is click Save Changes and we are done. Let's just close this panel down and you can see there's our button all styled in red.